I, I, I'm from DFW, so plenty yeah. of people have problems <laughs> with Snake. Uh, very famously, Pooch. I think he's gonna be writing, ma writing, making a video or writing a guide called "DFW doesn't know how to play against Snake," something like that. Well, uh, Pooch plays, plays uh, Samus. Samus kind of beats Snake pretty hard too. Oh yeah. So Marth and Samus. That's because he can't get anything on Samus. She's yeah. too floaty. She gets out of everything. One. But for this match, we got Sweetie T and XYK. Sweetie T, pretty good player from Cincy and XYK, the hometown hero from Columbus. Taking first place actually in doubles earlier today. That's uh, right. With, and um, I forget whose team I was. Yo, Hyperflame. Hyperflame, that's right. That's oh right. my god. And Hyperflame was a monster as well. But right now, let's talk about XYK. One of the things that, that really stands out to me is just uh, his awareness and his platform movement. They're both just exceptional. I, I feel like his, his reactions are just so good. And you can see that based on when he chooses to use that first movement. Even right there. That was so, such slippery movement. And already all over Sweetie T. This game, however, is a lot closer than it seems. But for some reason, even though the percents are close, I feel like XYK seems to be the one kind of dictating the pace of this match. I can see what you mean. Um, XYK is really good at baiting you into thinking you're safe at a range, then all of a sudden just getting right in that range with a meaty aerial that's like, you can't punish on landing because Luigi. Speaking of Luigi, oh, nearly getting that sweet spot short you. He normally gets that. I'm surprised he missed it that time. Hey, even the greats make mistakes sometimes. That is true. We do it. And a bit of a deficit here, but one thing that we're not seeing as much, uh, I guess, are, are some of the down throw tech chases that I'm used to seeing from a lot of minutes. Now, is that be just because of Luigi's properties? It might be. Um, oh, oh, there we go. go. There we go. go. <laughs> That's what uh, I, I, uh, I am the caller. Let's go. I would have thought Luigi could get out of that, but so is what I know. It's pretty useful. And again, see that kind of movement. That's, that just gives his nair so much forward momentum that you really can't escape it or react to it in any oh, yeah. meaningful way. That's the thing, SVDT is just like, I'm going to take it to Smash him. That way I don't have to worry about platforms. Oh, you don't, do you? <laughs> Give him one platform, it'll make it look like you're on Battlefield. Oh, yeah. On Big Battlefield. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> XYK again. It just feels like he's not giving SVDT any room to breathe. Now, SVDT, however, answering back a bit. Then I does have those slight disjoints, as well as a lot of jumps. So he can go out there, and I think he can pretty safely contest a lot of Luigi's recovery options. I would think so. Um, I would imagine just the, the threat of the misfire is keeping him on stage for now. Just because he doesn't want to get... He doesn't want to get an edge guard situation reversed on him. I get that, but I mean, when you're this far behind, I feel like you just got to go for it. You got you got to Shia LaBeouf it. You just got to do it. That time... <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional enough for that fireball to eat the uh, the balloon, or should I say the other way around, but we take those either way. XYK. Uh, wouldn't, that be, wouldn't that be surprised if it was intentional? XYK is really keen with this with this fireball game. None, none of his fireballs are random. He, he places them very well. Oh, yeah. He also is placing these tilts pretty well. I feel like I blinked, and all of a sudden, <laughs> he was the stock is gone. So yeah, Luigi's up smash has invincibility on some parts of it. I'm not entirely sure the details of it, but it's <laughs> <been> very great. <laughs> that thing always makes me smile, man. I'll tell you what. <laughs> that thing always brightens my day. Jerry's gonna do it. Wow. Anything you think CDC needs to change up in the game to try and reverse this? It's really hard to say. Uh, I think closing the distance is really important. Um, I think that it, by kind of playing from afar more than anything else, he's letting XYK uh, dictate a bit of the, the pacing of the match. Uh, Luigi again has like this great platform movement more than anything else. I think yeah. that he used a lot of that movement to just like cut off this cut off space very quickly, and then come in and uh, put on some pressure. But if he's able to play it, I think a little bit more up close, a little bit more personal, yeah. uh, make him a, a little bit less comfortable with some of some of those way dashes, then he might see some more dividends. But at least that's the way that I see it. When I played XYK, one thing I've uh, started doing, it'd be great if he could adapt this quickly. But when he's on a platform, you start reading that he's going to way dash off, fall through an intro area, and just put out a hitbox to catch him as he does that. Because he has a he has a sword. I played him as Martha. I did this. I would just put out a forward arrow and F tilt to catch him when he when I know he's gonna do something like that. Luigi doesn't have any options when he's on a platform besides do that wave dash off into an attack. 
Well, he does want this stage, I think, because of the higher ceiling. Uh, but what it does give XYK is platforms, and I know that he loves the stage, especially playing Luigi. Could be a comfort pick, because I'm not sure if Sweetie's ever played XYK, or even another like high-level Luigi. There's just some things you gotta learn the hard way. Where do you think XYK? Uh, oh man, where do you think he ranks as far as like uh, some of the some of the more well-known Luigi mains go? So. Of the well known Luigi mains, I know Otek, I think there's a guy named Soul who beat Professor Pro at a tournament once. Then, I'm not sure if you count a bait because he doesn't really play Melee or PM as much. But, I would put him below a bait because a bait's just like really good mentally and stuff. Maybe somewhere between Otek and Soul. Soul being better, him being better than Otek. I got you. Well, that's just like for me watching stuff I haven't seen. I wouldn't know how they'd actually compare. I spare. And that's what Sweetie T needs to do more of, right? Get out there, ensure that Luigi can't make it back. Because, a, a, again, a long recovery is not equal to a, a, a good recovery, right? That's true. Especially one that's predictable. Luigi's not going to mix you up. He's going to go to the edge 90% of the time. And that time, actually, positioning himself underneath that right platform and then using Meta Knight's quick dash speed to react to whatever option that XYK was doing. That's obviously what he, that's actually what he needs to do. Just wait for the attack off of the platform because it's going to happen. You know it's going to come. Luigi doesn't have much else he can do off the platform besides do the wave dash and the drop attack. But still, we have a very similar situation to the last game. And just like the last game, a couple of seconds and already halfway there to take another stock. XYK's punish game with Luigi is on another level. Alright, so I actually gotta play a, gotta play a game, so I'm gonna hop off mic real quick. Back air. Sweetie T gonna go ahead and make this within one stock. XYK missing that, uh, that sure you might be giving Sweetie T some opportunities of his own to bring things back. And that's not, yeah, that's game. Yeah, that's game. Game! That's the thing about a, a character with such great burst movement more than anything else is you think that you're safe, you think that you made a mistake and it's just like, okay, well, I'm far enough away to the point where nothing's gonna happen. But you're just never safe. 